I used to be a social worker in Vancouver, and a big part of my job was to find foster homes for children and youth who can no longer live with their families. Now, some kids are easier to find homes for than others, but today I want to tell you about one girl, we'll call her Carly, and she's what we in the field call a hard-to-house youth. Now, Carly was a 17-year-old Aboriginal girl who had fetal alcohol syndrome. She had lived in about 10 foster family homes and group homes since she came into care at the age of 13. And now her care team was meeting yet again around a table to talk about finding Carly a new home. Now, a care team is essentially a social support network comprised of paid professionals. I was on Carly's care team to help her find a new foster home. She had a mental health worker to help her deal with her history of abuse, an Aboriginal support worker to help her stay connected to her culture. She had group home staff, the people who get her to and from school every day, help her with her homework. And she had a legal guardianship social worker who's the point person for most legal things in Carly's life. So she has a big care team, a lot of people around her, and we're all meeting around a table talking about her future. She walks into this meeting, sits down at a table. She looks around and she says, you know, I'm 17 now. And in two years, when I turn 19, you're gone, you're gone, you're gone, you're gone. I'm alone in this world, and I need you guys to find me a family. It's youth like Carly who made me realize the importance of researching the devastating effects of aging out of the foster care system and having all social supports fall away. Carly knew that whatever home I found for her, in one year she'd begin her transition to adulthood, and she'd have to prepare to lose the only social supports that she knows. Now, there's a few things we know about youth raised in the foster care system. Less than half of them graduate from high school, close to half of them become homeless at some point in their lives, and close to 70% of youth raised in the foster system come into contact with the criminal justice system at some point in their lives. What my research seeks to unpack is the social support network of these youth after they leave the foster care system. Who do they call in times of need? Who can they turn to for support? For the past year, I've been interviewing former youth in care to ask them these questions. I want to hear their side of the story about what this experience has been like for them. What I've been finding is that these youth feel that they are expected to rely largely on themselves. They often have the most tumultuous upbringings and are expected to be independent sooner than most youth. What I hope my research shows is that we need to change the system in place right now. We need to work towards creating relationships of permanency for youth in care so that after they leave the system, they have a better chance at a successful future. Thank you.